Well, hello everybody and welcome back to another video. So today, well, I am going to teach you how to do, to like, fill some empty spaces in your Minecraft house. I mean like, um, you know, houses and uh, when you have big spaces and all that crap. Um, today I will show you the tips on how to actually fill the entire place up. So you guys don't have to worry about that a lot anymore. So uh, if you do enjoy this video, please consider subscribing and press the like button and click the bell for notification for any more videos that I will upload in this YouTube channel. Even though I haven't uploaded for like, you know, couple days or weeks, maybe months. Well, anyways, um, please enjoy this video. I'll do my best to give you tips this time, not like my last video. As you guys can see over here, you can see that I have a big empty spot here. I oh, don't mind those stuff here. So imagine if you have a big house like this. And you just built this hard work. You grind some some concrete and some birch wood. Like it took you for like maybe like hours on just looking on this stuff. And then suddenly uh, your house is just like like a chair like maybe like over here or something like that a chair and all that stuff maybe some tv and then but then what do you want to do again you make a big giant empty space here and now i'll show you my first tip well as you guys can see right here um no there was like a big empty space here but then i decided to add some little of Oom. What do you call it? Oom or something like really good. By saying my first step, adding walls, floors, and ceilings are amazing for big buildings like empty buildings and all that crap. So as you can see, um, I'm getting a lot of constant frame drops. <laughs> I should not be playing with shaders, but anyways, it's for your guys' entertainment. So um, as you can see, I add some floors and nice walls. It doesn't look like very, very plain. I add some root I'm going to add like ceilings as you can see I have add ceilings and I have some you know rooms to like yeah you know all that stuff and this wall I really like this design the 3d thing and all that stuff <laughs> I don't know what to call anything but this this little touch it's very very good I really like it and it's very good so yeah I'll just I actually suggest you to do this in some of your buildings but use it on a good material okay maybe like concrete concrete is one of my favorite blocks the texture is smooth and it's very good well well this step is obviously one of the most obvious of building empty spaces is putting glass <laughs> Well, I, you guys might think that I'm just a, a dumb dumb just by adding just class. I mean, like people with little common sense and just started playing Minecraft probably known of the material called glass. Well, I mean, like the reason why they put glass is that. So yeah, it's a very important aspect, and I want you to remember that. So, but you must use class as as good as you can. Don't just put random glass everywhere. You must put it under control. Like this. Like this for example. Earlier, this building doesn't even has glass. But yet I've used glass here. I like glass. It's one of my favorite blocks in Minecraft. Just below concrete and all that stuff. It's... With this shade, it actually make things look better. So, the glass, yes. I also really like the design. The glass design of these is very good. I've been using this technique for quite a while. I think a lot of people or builds in Minecraft have totally learned about this technique. But I do really enjoy this technique. It just makes that sense of hope. You know? I wish I had a house like this. I mean like, yeah. So, anyways, yeah. This part is one of 
You see, remember when I say that this is my literal favorite part of the building? Well, now you can see why. This, it's, there is like, you don't need to be afraid to put glass inside your house. I made two examples placing glass in my house, and in this house, I mean, which is this and that. This gives you like a sense that you're outdoor, but you're also inside in, in the building. So you think that the building is just another world, but it's just a building. So yeah. So anyways, uh, that is the second tip. Now it's time for the third tip. Well, now it's time for the fourth part. Or maybe the... I think it's the third tip. I have miscalculated. I'm very sorry, but this is my third tip. So the third tip is um, hidden lighting. Well, currently I don't really need hidden lighting because you know I'm using shaders and the sun is very bright. Maybe I'll just night. I'm mad. <laughs> okay, so now it's night time. It's dark, and the thing that you want to do is hidden lighting. Hidden lighting is a very, very good idea. Uh, I think you might already heard hidden lighting from other famous Minecraft builders. That's one thing. As you can see, I really adore the new shroom light. I mean, it's... You know, I, I don't think like, a lot of people like the texture, but for me, it's very amazing. You know, 1.16.1 update is one of the, my favorite updates. Just below the one point. Well, the aquatic update, I guess. Hidden lighting. You can place hidden lighting everywhere. As you can see here. You see this? Below this is literally a shroom light. It is just undercovered by carpet. And then, because um, when you place carpet, it actually doesn't count as a block. Like, literally doesn't count as a block. So, the game won't register the light. So they will think that it's just like, you know, something, like an object but not a block. And the light can go through, which is I really like for hidden lighting. So I don't need to focus a lot on the ceiling lights because, you know, Minecraft and size does not matter. So yeah. You can place hidden lighting everywhere. If I want to, I could place this here. And make the place really bright. Now just have to put the carpet. And maybe some little color, I guess. That would be really nice. Okay, this one. This one. This one. This one. So now place that. And there. Hidden lighting. And literally. It's very good. <laughs> For a carpet, I really like this modern texture. Maybe I'll just do that. Ah, that's not better. So now, I also really like this. That I can't get away from the walls. <laughs> so, uh, that is my third tip on filling empty spaces. Now it's time for the fourth. And this time, I won't forget anymore. <laughs> Literally. Okay, I promise. Well, it seems it's very late at I wonder what is the next tip. Well, I'll tell you the next tip. The next tip is furniture. Well, I mean, furniture is obviously the simplest, obvious thing. You know what furniture is? Basically, like home, something like that, where you basically fill your places up. Well, that's one thing. But I'll show you some little tips on how to put furniture really good in this video. Even though this video is about filling houses. So here. So as you can see, this is my little furnished house. As you can see, it was very empty when I started placing. And now I barely even have any space. Look at this. You barely even have any space left. I made this so huge. Uh, just a huge wall. And then now look at this. It's, it's not even any space left. It's full. I can only put this one couch here. This. This, these techniques are very good, as you can see here. Also, I really like this, you know, the looming table thing. Yes, I think a lot of you might already notice from some YouTubers. 
these techniques are very good for texturing which I really like and as you can see we got some pots we have some, we have our own personal kitchen we have you know banners as yeah, yeah all those stuff and we have you know another more banners and curtains you know I really like this even though yeah, if you can see, you can see a little the texture, but then when you look at this, you get a nice personal view. Here's my bed, my bed that has a balcony that can look down at the living room here. I also like these banners as couches, which is very good. And yeah, that's all. I hope these tips are very useful. If you guys really think that these tips are very good. Please consider subscribing and click that bell button for getting notified and please don't forget to click that like button and wait it's night time and I'm getting constant frame drops. Well anyways guys this is I AZGG and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.